Okay, let's keep working with the reflection layer. Again, this is Fernando, and this is the part two of the uh, video of the reflection layer video. Uh, I want to take off the checkerboard, the checker from the uh, uh, reflections. Um, I want to talk a little bit about the uh, glossiness. The glossiness is the blurriness of the layer of the reflections. Right now, we have our our material are very uh, smooth. They don't have any blurry. But we have two options here to control the blurry uh, the blurriness of our material. The highlight glossiness basically is the glossiness or is a blurry in the highlight where the light hit the the material or the surface. And the reflection glossiness is the the blurriness in the reflection or everywhere in, in my material. So you have to wait to control the the highlight glossiness. If you use the reflection glossiness and if you want the same amount of reflection glossiness um, or the same amount of blurriness in your material, you don't have to change the highlight glossiness. So let me uh, make an example. One is a perfect smooth uh, reflection. If I want to add a blurry, I have to reduce this value. So let me use 76, um, 75.75. Make a preview. So now I have some unglossiness or some um, blurriness in my material, and I want to create a render. Here you go. This is the render. You can see here how we have blurriness in my material. Now my material doesn't look like a plastic or a metallic, a smooth metallic anymore. So now it looks like an uh, anodized uh, material. So this effect is because uh, we have we add blurriness in our, our reflections. You can add blurriness only to the highlight here. So you can apply 70, 0.75 and having a perfect reflection to add only blurriness in the in the highlight. I will not make a, a, a render because we don't have too much time in this uh, video. But anyway, uh, before I explain how the, the uh, other options works, I want to point out that you can use a texture to control where you want blurriness in terms of color. Black is going to be uh, no blurriness and why it's going to be 100% blurriness. So some users try to control the reflection through this guy and this option here, the, the reflection glossiness, the only thing that this uh, option control is the blurriness. Seeing that you have less reflections because you have blurriness but you are not controlling the or you are not changing the amount of, of reflections. You are changing or you are adding um, glossiness and that's why it seem to have less reflections but this is not the correct uh, option to control the amount of reflections in order to control the amount of reflection we talked already in the first video that you have to go here and control the amount of reflection in the perpendicular area and also you can use a texture mapping to control the amount of reflections inside the perpendicular area or the perpendicular options so um, what happens if, if I want to create a uh, copper material? So let's create a copper material. The first thing that I have to do is change the base color to use kind of copper one. You can see now how my material is copper, but my reflection is red. So I have to change my reflection as well to kind of a light copper, something like that. It's depending on the color of your material. But anyway. Let's do that. Now we have a copper material. Very easy and very fast. Let's create a render to see what we have. Okay, pause the video. There we go. This is my copper material. You can see very nice, very sweet. What happens if I want to create gold material? So let's go here, change the, to have a gold kind of dark brown. Let 
brown color like that and this color is going to define the color of my goal let's say that I want that kind of color of the goal preview now this is my goal very easy very quick render this is what we have We go. This is my goal. What happens if I want to? I need to have a very blurry goal. So let me decrease the area value. I mean the glossiness to 0.5. We have a very blurry goal. This option here, the subdivision, control the noise or the quality of the glossiness. You can see here how my material is very noisy. Well, if you increase this value, let me say 32 you are going to have more quality or less noise in the material okay you can see here less noise noise okay nice I'm gonna make a render to see what we have this is my call you can see the nice blurry reflection that we have okay the the other options that I want to show you is the anisotropics Anisotropics is to stretch the reflections. Let me increase the the glossiness to a uh, 0.85. Um, the anisotropics try to is to stretch this reflection here. If you use a negative value like minus 0.8, you're going to stretch. Let me reduce the the quality to speed up the, the preview so um, if you use negative value you are going to stretch the uh, the reflection in the y axis so it's going to be uh, vertically if you change or if you use a positive value point a you're going to stretch the reflections um, horizontally or in the x uh, You know, axis. Um, this is very useful to create uh, a brush metals and a brush material. Right now, this option here should rotate the the effects, the the isotropic effects, but it doesn't work. For example, if I type 45, I should see the reflection in the 45 angle. But right now, it's the same. It's uh, horizontally. Like in, in the x axis, so it doesn't work for now, it's a box, so we should fix that uh, later. But I want to show you one um, a new the new uh, shader type that we have is Ward. The Ward shader type is very good in combination with anisotropic to create a brush metal. And in this part of the video, I want to create one of my favorite uh, material. Is a brush metal material, so I'm going to use the, this the same um, test material, but I want to change the color to kind of uh, dark black or gray by 50. Also, I want to roll back the filter to 50 because we are not going to need the filter. Um, in the higher value, we are going to use. 16 for the higher value in both because I'm going to increase a little bit the parallel uh, color in order to have uh, more reflections in the parallel area so let's set 50 as well so I just want to increase the reflections in the in the parallel area and in my perpendicular area I want to use a uh, brush texture in order to control uh, where we we have or where we need reflection so I'm gonna use a a new reflection let me go to materials uh, for final visual description material steel brush and I'm going to use this kind of 
brush uh, this kind of brush texture so I'm gonna use this brush texture in my reflections and also I want to decrease the gamma or to make use the inverse of the gamma in order to have in a darker uh, texture mapping so this is what I want now I have my layer in order to control my reflections I have a brush uh, material a brush texture and I want to reduce these guys a little bit more than the than the uh, glossiness so I'm going to use 0.75 and 0 0.90 in my uh, gloss, glossiness reflection glossiness and also I want a negative anisotropic so I'm going to use negative 0.8 and So this is what I have or what I want, and also in order to uh, having a, a more variation in my uh, my material, I'm gonna use a bump map to that kind of depth. So I'm gonna use a bump map here, bump map, bump map, and I'm gonna use exactly the same bit map that I use for control my uh, reflections. Okay, and because I don't want too much bump, I'm gonna use 0.01 in my bump. Okay, this is the way how we create a brush material. You can see I have the material here ready created, so we need to uh, use the mapping in my fresnels, in the perpendicular color. Also we need to the glossiness 0.75 and in the reflections 0.89 in the reflection and 0.65 in my um, highlight. Uh, the anisotropic FX is negative 0.8. The subdivision, I increase the subdivision in order to get more quality. See how this is more uh, quality than this one? It's because I I have a A subdivision here and I have 32 subdivision in this one. Okay. In order to control the the texture mapping, I add a second layer second diffuse layer in order to control the texture mapping because SketchUp do not control or do not uh, have texture mapping or UV mapping until you add uh, texture inside the diffuse layer okay I add the uh, diffuse layer and I make this layer completely transparency in order to see the layer below it and also I add the texture mapping here, the same texture mapping. Okay, I have this brush metal I've already made. See the texture mapping in the top layer. I have this layer with a, a color uh, white to hide the layer and the other color in the, in the, in the diffuse. Okay. I don't have time to show you the render. Uh, or to make the render, but this is the final render. You can see the nice brush and warm uh, reflections. This is a very, very uh, realistic material, and it's very cool and very nice for uh, to create uh, uh, fish or to create things or to create whatever you want. Okay, this is a video. How to? This is the last video of this uh, reflection layer. The next video, the next two weeks or the next uh, Tuesday. We are going to have one to create a refraction layer. So this is Fernando and see you next time. Bye bye.